hello guys welcome back to my kitchen on today's menu is my delicious akara for breakfast i want to show you how i made it for my family so keep watching so over here are some beans i'm gonna use for this akara it's actually a honey beans but you can make use of any beans of choice so i just transferred it in a big plate to pick some dirt in it then i'll transfer it in a bowl then after that, I added some water to it and let it sit for 20 minutes in the water. Then here is 20 minutes. The beans is soft now. I'm going to transfer it into my blender to wash it. I find that, that using blender to wash your beans is quite easier and time saving. But if you don't know how to do that, you can use your hand, the one we normally do. Next, I added some water to the top of the beans. I'm going to transfer it into the blender and allow it to blend for like 30 seconds. Like I said, it doesn't take time. Now it's done. And I'm going to run some clean water on it to remove the back. So after removing the back, this is what we've got. And I'm going to leave it in this water for about 15 to 20 minutes for it to be soft. So after 20 minutes again, I transferred it into the blender again to blend it smoothly this time. So I added some water. And these are the ingredients I'm going to use to blend it with. These are red bell pepper, scotch bonnet pepper and white onions. I also added some salt and a seasoning cube. And here I just blended it smoothly and transferred it into the bowl. I'm going to stir it to make sure that everything is okay. After that, I tested and adjusted some salt. And I stirred, stirred and stirred. And at this point, the oil is already heating on the stove. So what I did next was to transfer the beans batter into the oil. The oil is not going to be too hot so that it's going to cook very well. It's just a medium low heat. So after transferring the batter, I then allowed it to cook on both sides for about 3 minutes. Akara doesn't take much time to cook. And one thing about it is that you don't leave the site. You have to be there to make sure that everything is okay. If not, it's going to get burnt. So now it's done cooking on one side, I'm going to flip it on the other side to cook as well. And when you're frying a kara, you don't have to overcrowd the pot or the pan so that it's going to cook well and it's not going to soak oil. And now the first batch is ready, I'm going to scoop it out from the oil and continue with the rest. So here is the second batch of it. Here I'm transferring the butter into the oil again. You have to do this very gently so that it has to stay in one place. Make sure your hand is straight. If not, it's going to scatter everywhere. <laughs> and here we go. The second batch is ready. And I continued like that until everything was done. You guys, our akara is ready for breakfast. Look at that, guys. It was so nice. My kids are not a fan of eating beans. But when it comes to akara, they will finish everything. <laughs> so guys, in case you've not fried akara at home or you don't know how to go about it, you can follow this process and I assure you that you will get it perfectly. Thank you guys for watching and see you in my next one. Bye-bye.